G'day folks, I'm Max Taylor and I am the editor of Caravan World. With me here is Michael Browning, he's a regular Caravan World reviewer and feature writer. We're here in the very sunny Rosebud, Victoria, as you can tell by the ominous grey clouds. We've chosen a ripper of a day. Perfect, perfect caravan weather. Exactly, Michael. Now, Michael, just uh, why don't you tell the folks what we are doing here? Well, basically, people these days have us for for choice. There's fabulous caravans around the $50,000 point, mm. and people want the features that the three caravans we've got here today uh, are all equipped with. They want nice big bedroom, central galley kitchen, and a full rear ensuite with a provision for a washing machine and all the fruit. They don't want to pay much for it. And I think you've hit the nail on the head, Michael. Um, you know, in this day and age, if you want to get yourself on the road with a nice, comfortable, blacktop touring machine, you don't need to spend a hundred plus thousand dollars. I reckon it's a really exciting time to be in the market to purchase a new caravan. These three vans that we're looking at today, they're all around about fifty thousand dollars or just under, um, and they've got all the bits and pieces that you're going to want for some comfy vanning. Yeah, well, we've got the, the price leader here is the uh, Jayco Starcraft, which is arguably the one we've got. The 19-footer is could well be Australia's best-selling caravan. At the moment, we're in Coron F, uh, FS2, which is a 90-foot pop-top, and we've also got the, uh, the PD Series Royal Flare, another 19-foot full caravan uh, in the chute. Um, so, one pop-top, two caravans. You know what? I reckon we should go and check them out. I think it's a good idea. So what Coronet have done very cleverly to make their pop top feel like a caravan is to make a folding wall ensuite. Pop these panels up through a few latches and a presto. An enclosed ensuite. You know, as Michael just pointed out, that um, folding wall for the ensuite. Um, you know, it's one of the reasons this van actually came up drums at our Best Aussie Vans competition last year. You know, we all liked it for various reasons, but for my money, it was that folding wall concept. You know, it's the sort of thing that you don't see very often in, in pop tops, and it also sort of displays the level of innovation that, that can be found in Australian caravans. And, what I also like about this van is the gen general ambience. I love all the little stories, nooks and crannies, nice deep drawers. I also know from experience that this particular van tows really, really well. It's not overly heavy, and uh, you know, and nor is it overly long. And what Coronet's managed to do is squeeze all those, you know, creature comforts that you really want when you're out on the highway for a long period of time. You know, I reckon that for a pop top, it ticks lots and lots of boxes. And you know what? Um, I, I really, really like it. Okay, now we're in the Jayco Starcraft, and uh, this, despite the fact of being a, uh, a hard roof caravan, it feels light, bright, and airy, almost a bit like a pop top. Big windows, skylights, uh, light uh, toned panelling, Euro style panelling that Jayco has made a, uh, a practice out of using in recent years. Light flooring, it's, uh, it's an inviting looking place to have a holiday in. Ah, the Jayco Starcraft, the venerable Jayco Starcraft. It has been around for a while now. You know, you step inside and it kind of feels like it's the little brother of the Jayco Sterling or the, the Jayco Silverline as it would be now. Um, it really does share the same design DNA of the, the larger Jayco flagship caravan. You know, and as Michael said earlier, that um, the Jayco Starcraft is the least expensive of the vans that we have here on test in Rosebud. And you know, you look around, you see the features, you see the, um, the way the cabinetry is put together. It's all a very cohesive unit. And you can sort of see why Jayco would sell so many of these things. What many people will love about the Starcraft is the storage space behind this uh, Euro look cabinetry. Now look at this, above the bed, that's pretty normal. Clothes space there, the wardrobe here, oddments above, hanging here, storage below, and even a drawer for your phone and things like that at, uh, as a bedside table. You know, a lot of people, they have a, a, a genuine soft spot for Royal Flare Caravans. Uh, Royal Flare's a, a good family company that's been around for quite a few decades now. They really have, and they, they have been a mainstay of the Australian caravanning scene. Um, you know, I heard on the grapevine that um, Royal Flare last year invested a lot of time, effort and um, money, of course, in um, developing a new, contemporary, really modern uh, look to the inside of the caravans. They've got this CNC cut cabinetry, which I think by any measure is distinctive and, and um, dare I say, classy. I also like the Royal Flare. It's quite different, certainly different to Starcraft. And the first impression on coming in here was it was actually a little bit smaller inside. And that's created by three distinct zones. You have the bedroom zone, which is almost closed off a little bit from the main living area of the van by the fridge and uh, a partition. And then behind me here you have the, uh, the ensuite and, and that's got its own separate solid door which is a nice thing but it means you've got privacy and you really do feel like you're in a, uh, 
in, in a separate room here. And quality fittings, a different uh, style, mixer tap, good size basin, it's got a quality feel about it. You know what, if you had to buy a new, a new tow vehicle, you know, you'd get away with, uh, you know, $90,000 yeah. for, the, for the vehicle uh, uh, and, the, and the caravan. The total rig, brand new, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. That's good value. I reckon so too, mate. Well, what do you reckon? Should we um, go play some, um, what, what sort of games did they play back in the 60s, Michael? What sort of lawn bowls or disc bowls? I, I think we've got to get the frisbee out, Max. The frisbee in the this frisbee. weather? Maybe a kite, <laughs> what do you reckon? Let's go. <laughs>